What's up everybody, Scott Linton from Dash Lady Garage. I'm here to tell you today how to work on changing a tire. I feel like it's a lost skill for some reason these days. I've seen enough people on the side of the road not know how to change a tire. So today we're gonna sit down and do it on my uh, CT200H. First things first, gotta lift the car up. Uh, I got a Max Jacks by Ben Pack, so it makes my life a little bit easier and I'm at home, so I have the luxury to use it. You can use a floor jack, you can use your scissor lift, but most importantly, you want to use the pinch well of your car. And most cars now need this little rail right here. There's actually a jacking point you can usually designate because we have a couple cutouts on the frame there. And um, it's also, you can tell if you ever brought your car to the shop ahead of tire exchanged. You'll be able to see that uh, that's the point. So what we do is we're gonna get our jack on the lift point and lift it up. All right, the goal here is just to get the car just high enough off the ground. We don't need to lift it a million feet. Uh, because we're using the lift, of course, we gotta go first. on there the first thing we want to do is all right let's talk about a couple of the tools that you need for the job I might as well get done and everybody needs to know this so uh, first things first you need the wheel lock. You gotta make sure you got this or else we're not taking the wheels off. There are ways to break them off, but we're gonna assume that everybody has not lost one of these, usually in the glove box or in where the spare tire is in the trunk. Next thing, 21 millimeter lug wrench. Uh, this is for the wheel lock plus the regular, the other four lugs on the car. So that's 21 millimeters. I got two because I'm really wanting the torque wrench. Uh, if you got one of these, these are awesome, but it's a battery powered impact gun. Uh, you can use an air gun. You can use one of the regular tire irons you have in your car. A um, number of different things. I like using the electric stuff. It's pretty nice and I don't have a very good compressor in order to have air tools here. One of the most important tools in the arsenal is a torque wrench. You gotta have one of these puppies. Uh, you want to torque your lug to the recommended manufacturer spec, which is 103 newton meters for this particular vehicle, which is again, 2015 CT. 200H uh, The first one you want to take off usually is your wheel lock just because it's easy to deal with two pieces. So I get that on. Somewhere where you don't lose them, I'm going to put them on the lift arm today. Uh, you can put them just out in front of the tires going out behind and stick them in your pocket. Just don't lose them because they will roll away when you accidentally kick them in it. All right, first thing, you gotta screw in the tire. Easy enough to repair. You could do the beef jerky style fix. You could do the liquid uh, sealant, like in your bike tire, they make the same thing for cars. But uh, generally, it's good to go to a tire store, a reputable tire store, and get a good DOT approved uh, tire, uh, a little rubber cork put in. Uh, so we're gonna go to America's Tire, it just happens to be the one nearby, and uh, they do it for free. We all patched up. Uh, let's get it back on the car, pretty simple. Uh, first things first though, we're going to get that brush and we're going to scrape the rust off the hub here. Got to do the back side of the wheel just for safety, so we're going to clean up the hub. All right, now that we got both the hub and the back of the wheel cleaned up with the oxidation's gone, uh, let's get the wheel back on the car. Uh, so, let's do it. Let's drop the car down just so the tires kiss the ground so there's enough not to have them spin as we torque the wheel. Um, so let's drop it down. Oh, 
All right, with that car on the ground now, we're gonna torque this thing down to 103 newton meters. And uh, we're gonna first do a star pattern, and then we'll come back with a circle or check torque. You don't want to snap a torque wrench, you want to nicely push through in one motion. A snap torque will not give you the right torque value as you're doing this process. Uh, if you're on the side of the road, just torque it as best you can. Uh, kind of get your, most of your body weight on top of it and try and push down on it. That would be good enough to drive to your nearest tire store. But again, we're in the garage, we can torque it the right, the most proper way we can. Uh, so let's wrap it up and get this car back on the ground and head to dinner. Last but not least, let's throw that center cap back on there. And you know, we gotta make it line up with the valve thing because uh, there's not very many steez with this car, but you know what? We're not dirty, we're gonna do the work right so we'll get the bottom of the L to line up with the valve stem there. We'll just pop it on as best we can. Just take that, drop it all the way down, and shoot, crap in. Hope you learned something. Uh, like, subscribe, all the other YouTube stuff. I don't really do this. Uh, but I figured we should make a video on how to do some basic car stuff. Hopefully we'll get to doing some mods. I do have a bet with my friend that I can make this thing look cool. Uh, we got our buddy Jake coming by uh, to help us film the next step. Uh, so stay tuned and uh, drop a comment if you learned something. Got another question, I'm more than happy to answer. And have a happy holiday. All right, with the, let's try this again. Now that we got the hub cleaned, we can go ahead and drop the wheel back on the car. Uh, so, what's up for to do? Let's drop it on there. That was horrible taking. Horrible. <laughs>